Hey folks, this is Chris Crazy House back at it again on a Thursday night, drawing my butt off. Yes, here we are folks. Welcome one and welcome all. I appreciate having you here. Tonight we're going to have some fun and I hope you got your boxing gloves on or some fight gloves and I want you to meet me up on the roof at 3 o'clock at the end of school. We're going to be drawing some beat em up queens here, some girls that I came up with for a kind of like a, a story that you might would see in maybe a Capcom video game, whether it be rival schools or even Street Fighter or something like that. So I came up with these two concepts way back in the springtime while I was helping out my daughter with school. You know, sometimes she would just be sitting there doing her, her solo work. So I would just sit there and be drawing if I was already done with my actual work myself. And I came up with these two concepts. And I don't have names for the characters as of yet. I also don't have a basic story or background for them yet. It's the, the story is very vague at this time. But I'd like to develop it further. And you're going to see the, I guess you would say the second step. In developing these characters so we got one girl who's kind of more of a, a biker type and she has the you know the, the the yellow leather and you know the red pads and everything like that and the pink hair so she's gonna be more of the rough and tumble biker type and the other girl is more of a, a cheerleader and this one you're gonna see me modify a little bit more I'm gonna change her hair color and also change her skin tone a little bit just to give it some more diversity with having one girl be more of a chocolate skin tone and the other girl be more of a light skin skin tone. So that's what we're going to be doing tonight, folks. We're going to be drawing some beat-em-up queens, girls you might see in a, a Streets of Rage type game <laughs> or something like that. But we're going to be developing them tonight. I hope you stick around. I'm going to be doing this all traditionally in my sketchbook, starting all the way from the earliest part of doing the sketching. And then I'll, you know, go over it with some Sharpies and then I will go right into doing some coloring with some markers and then I will finish it off probably with uh, a little bit of my special Micron ink pens just to fill out the, the outside contour lines a little bit more. And I might even use some color pencils just to darken up some of where the, the shadows would be in this picture. But that's what we're going to be doing tonight, folks. I hope you want to stick around and watch. I hope you enjoy. I'll probably be playing some, some uh, techno beats for this because techno music goes well with those classic beat-em-up games, whether it be, like I said, Streets of Rage or uh, Final Fight or anything like that. So hopefully you stick around and listen to this techno trans house music while I draw these beat-em-up queens. And we'll get going soon. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe if you're not already subscribed to me here on this channel. I'm going to play the intro, then jump right into drawing these beat em up queens. Let's go.
The sporting editors had also given me $300 in cash, most of which was already spent on extremely dangerous drugs. The trunk of the car looked like a mobile police narcotics lab. We had two bags of grass, 75 pellets of mescaline, five sheets of high-powered blotter acid, a salt shaker half full of cocaine, and a whole galaxy of multicolored uppers, downers, screamers, laughers, and also a quart of tequila, a quart of rum, a case of Budweiser, a pint of raw ether, and two dozen amyls. All this had been rounded up the night before in a frenzy of high-speed driving all over Los Angeles County. From Topanga to Watts, we picked up everything we could get our hands on. Not that we needed all that for the trip, but once you get locked into a serious drug collection, the tendency is to push it as far as you can. The only thing that really worried me was the ether. There is nothing in the world more helpless and irresponsible and depraved than a man in the depths of an ether binge. And I knew we'd get into that rotten stuff pretty soon, probably at the next gas station. folks here we are at the intermission point you see me draw this stuff from pencil you saw me go ahead and put some inks on it with some sharpies just to kind of give myself uh, some guidelines as where as the color is going to go and I started filling in some of the skin tones as well and we're going to finish off those skin tones afterwards and also the hair and we're going to do the clothing colors as well so this is what we got so far. I'm having a ball actually sitting here doing this drawing. So having lots of fun on my own. I hope you guys are having fun watching me draw it. Before we get on to the next section, just let me go ahead and do my plugs. And first, let me plug my online store. <clears throat> if anyone wants to buy any of my coloring books, comic books, stickers, or posters, they are all on there on my online store at storeenvy.chriscrazyhouse. But the link will be in the description box as well as the comments section. So please go there now. If you want to buy any gear from me, either t-shirts, uh, hoodies, long shirts, it's fall time here where I'm at. It's starting to get a little bit cooler. So you might want to pick up a hoodie or you might want to pick up a long sleeve shirt that you can wear around. I'm definitely going to buy some Chris Crazy House ones on here for myself just so I can kind of cross promote, but also just have some cool long sleeve shirts to wear around town when I go out. So make sure you go pick those up at my Teespring store 
and the links for that are also in the comment section as well as the description box. If you want to be a supporter of this channel, if you like downloading cool artwork or coloring pages that's exclusive to the stuff that I make, go ahead and do that on my Patreon. My Patreon has several tiers now, and we have a lot of cool content that has built up over the last year. I download or upload things there probably, if, if not once a week, at least twice a week. Okay, so you can go there and get as much cool stuff whichever tier you decide to pick so like I said lots of cool clip art that you can download and use for yourself lots of coloring pages that you can download and color for yourself and also lots of assets for 2d games or 2d animation that you can download and use in your own projects so go there now as soon as possible links will be in the description as well as the comments section uh, before I go on to the next section of my drawing, I want to just say a, a a sad farewell to the brother Melvin Van Peoples, who I found out while making this picture, I found out that he had passed away, and that uh, saddens me a lot. Between him and Sam Greenlee, I credit them with a lot of my spirit as being an independent artist, but more so being an independent black male artist. They were very much big inspirations to me. In my drive and my sensibilities as far as making my own art writing and creating my own stories and giving me a lot of inspiration just from a black male perspective and seeing what they did decades ago and how their influences felt all through the Hollywood industry I, I, I very much appreciate what Melvin did with all his work over the years and you know like I said his, his personality has loomed very large in my life thinking about what he created but even going on to his son what he passed on to his son and all the great things he's done uh in front of and behind the camera so lots of respect to uh melvin van peoples who just passed away so i'm going to play a quick little ad here for my online store and then i'm going to jump right into drawing more of these beat em up queens so stick by and we'll get right into it right after this little ad. Let's go.
All right, folks, here we are, the final version of my beat em up queens. Here it is. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, this is one of those ones where I finished it late at night. I apologize for the last part of it because the the lighting was changing a little bit outside my window. Uh, we had some clouds rolling over uh, during the late afternoon. Usually my window gives a pretty good lighting on the side, but you can kind of see it kind of changing a little bit as time went on. So I apologize for that. But uh, once I finished this one, I kind of slept on it. Then came and looked at it the next day, and I was very much pleased with what I saw. So it kind of came out, I would say probably at a, a 90, 93% of what my idea for this, at least this piece was. I wanted to change things a little bit. So the original design for the, the girl with the pink hair and the yellow biker outfit, I wanted to add a few more pads to her and a symbol on her, her arm pad. And I'm going to actually make a, a helmet for her as well, because like I said, she's going to be riding on a motorcycle. So I definitely want to make a different type of helmet to add to that character. So you see this here, and I changed her shirt color as well, because the original design, her shirt was red. I think I'm just going to keep it white, just to you know change it up and break up the different colors going on in the this piece. Also, going on to the other girl with the larger, big hair, who's more of the cheerleader type, uh, I changed her hair to a different color. Before it was red, but because this one girl is pink and I kind of want them to kind of contrast off of one another, I went with a, a bluish color. So, if you put them, you see them side by side, one has kind of like the red, the yellows, kind of more in the warmer spectrum, and the other one has more colors in the cooler spectrum. She has like a lot of blues. Uh, she has a, you know, purple uh, varsity jacket, and she's wearing kind of like grays and blacks. And that's also another reason why I made the girl in the pink hair. I made her shirt her shirt white because the cheerleader's outfit, her shirt is going to be black and her skirt is going to be black. So, you know, kind of like to uh, contrast my characters, especially if they're a, a duo and they kind of go together within the same story or the same concept. I always try to make sure... First of all, you always want to make sure the silhouettes are different. So if you just saw them as a silhouette, you would know which character you're looking at. But also make them look different in visuals and colors. You know, one has lots of hair. The other one has kind of a shorter afro. One has, you know, a little, her skin's a little bit darker. One's skin's a little bit lighter and has kind of freckles and stuff like that. So just give them a little bit different. And of course, they'll have very different personalities. But... They kind of work together in a way to defeat the bad guys at the end. So that's kind of my basic concept so far. And of course, it's going to take place in a high school, not in your normal high school, mind you. Like I said, this is fantasy. This is something you would see in like a, a fight fantasy or something like that. So I'm going more for that type of idea or concept with this. But I hope you have enjoyed seeing me draw these characters. I had a ball drawing them. I want to do more like full character turnarounds and, and, you know, getting more into how their facial features are looking and what their actual origin stories are. I have a basic idea of the, the full concept, like maybe one, their boyfriend is killed by someone bad and the same bad person also killed the other one's little sister or something like that. That's kind of where it's, it's going to be just a basic action revenge plot. But this is what you got here so far with these characters. And like I said, I'll, I'll flesh it out more as this year goes on. But that's what we got here tonight, folks. I really enjoyed drawing this. I had a ball doing it. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. If you like my artwork or you like this type of stuff, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you haven't already done so. Please go ahead and like this video and make sure you share it with as many people as you can. Share it on your profiles, share it wherever you can. I know a lot of people have been sharing my stuff on Instagram recently, and I, I just want to say to them, I appreciate that a lot. It does mean a lot to me when people do that. And uh, a lot of people have been uh, recently sharing my stuff and liking my stuff on TikTok as well. I put a lot of short videos on TikTok. And I usually use those as shorts here on YouTube as well. So I appreciate you guys for that. There's going to be more 
animated shorts as time goes on while I just do little bits of animation and post those on TikTok and on YouTube as well in the coming year. I've already been working on it so far. But thank you guys for joining me here. I appreciate you as always. And I hope to see you here next week when I do some more drawing my butt off videos. But there's also going to be some more art videos coming up just over the next week or so. So make sure you keep your eyes open for that. Anyway, guys, Chris Crazy House signing out. Peace.